Okay, so this is what is referred to often as the holy grail in design work, is the ability to move a pixel-based image into a vector. So you have somebody that asks you, hey, I've got a logo, but I don't have the high quality one. I've just got this photo of it. Can you redesign it for me? In some cases, it's better to start from scratch using a vector editing program. Yeah, like in the case I use Affinity Designer, you could use Illustrator or um, Inkscape, whichever program you want to use, and then recreate that. In some cases, it works well, but others, the logo is clear enough for you just to try and do a conversion. And this is one of those programs. Now, I've used a few other programs and um, there's one Vector Magic, which is a desktop version, a couple of hundred dollars. It works very well, but it is just too expensive for the ability to do that conversion, unless you're totally serious and you like that workflow. Introducing SVG Trace. Powerful thing about it is it's got a free version and the pro version. The pro version is like $12.99. Uh, US dollars, which in South African terms is where I live, is just under 200 rand, and it's nothing for a lifetime version. And then you you pay for the platform. So if you're using the, like I'm using the web version, you pay 12.99 if you want on the iOS. It's eventually coming to Android also. You pay for those individual ones, which makes total sense. But can you imagine a pixel to vector converter online for 12.99? One soft payment. It's a really incredible deal. But before I get to the Pro Convert, I want to show you the, the free version, which you can basically come, you don't even have to sign in to use. Um, you're going to find that if you want to do a bit of cleaning up and so forth, you know, the Pro version gives you lots more of the editing online. But if you're using a vector editing program, then you, you do your basic conversion yeah, and you're cleaning up in that vector editing program. So for the free version, of course, you're going to have a few of these ads here. They, they have to make money somehow. If you're not supporting them with the $12.99, this is how they generate the ads. So I've downloaded a few uh, vectors. No, not a few vectors, but a few logos uh, as pixel-based images that we're going to do conversions to. Now, one thing here... I'm not going to do all of these at the same time because there are so many colors and then it becomes a bit sort of uh, too much uh, congested. I'm going to just use one of these images here to convert it. So this is a, a JPEG that we've got here. The free version, you can do cropping inside the program. So I'm going to go to crop and just drag the cropping lines around. Let's do NBC. It's got some nice colors in there and take this bottom section so i'm dragging this with a mouse and we get there and you can say save and there we have it okay so if you hover over it you can see that it you can select that color if i left mouse button click you're going to see that color appears over here now these two colors are just here by default i can clear them out don't need them i've selected this one then i'm going to go to this way in bc the lettering and i'll start from the left here clicking all the colors i'm going to go there click click they have selected all those colors now you have a few enhancements you can do here but with this first one you've got to be to use the ai part of it you've got to have a pro um, version of it you have smoothness and despicable simple curves etc you can hover over this question mark and see what it does i'm going to leave everything as default and then just press convert Again, if you look on top here, it's the minus and plus. That's just to zoom in if you choose to want to do that. Okay, there it pops into, which is an editing screen technically. Now, if you look here, it's got a feature here to vacuum, which means cleaning up all sort of colors that are lying all over. You can use that. But if I click here now, you're going to see you need to have the pro version. Again, once you're done here, if you're happy with uh, the conversion part, you can go clean up if you look closer here. Um, let me go in. If you look alongside here, there are some, some artifacts that are here which you need to go clean up. Okay, so in that case, uh, one thing, my mouse is jumping all over the space here, my apology. But in that case, you, you can export this and go clean it up in your Victor editing program, which I, I will show you. Um, so these features here are for Pro, 
What I'll do now is go and export it and download it as SVG. You can send a link. Because it's free, people who click on the link will come into SVG Trace and they'll see what you're seeing here. But I'm going to just download this and you might see a uh, trace with a one in between because I've done it before I did the recording now. There, there would be a trace there already, so there's probably two files, but I'm going to go for the trace with a one. Okay, so this is the one here that we've just done. And I am going to open this into Affinity Designer where I'm the program that I use. Okay, for those of you who don't know about the Affinity range of products, it's a worthwhile uh, check up. You can see on my channel there's a whole lot of videos on Affinity. It's just so nice to work with. I've moved off the Adobe products quite a while ago already. Okay, um, yeah, so here we have it. And as you can see here, if I click on this background area, I'm going to just delete this. And there we have it. Um, if you look here, you'll see that there's these elements. If I double click on this, um, I can go with a node tool and just select this area and press delete. I've cleaned that up. If I want to clean up on this side of the B, on Affinity Designer, I can be in the node tool, press alt, and then it will draw a marquee. I'll just go draw a marquee around those nodes. And if I press delete, you just watch here by the B, cleans it up nicely and so forth and go and do the cleanup. Um, but as you notice, we are now sitting with each component here, which we can move around and do whatever we want to. Okay, so now it's now basically taken a pixel-based image and converted into vectors. There are some pictures that are going to work much better than others. So you make the judgment call and the adjustments accordingly. Okay, so we've got that now, but I am going to go back and just go in and log into the Pro version and show you a few of the other editing features that exist there. Okay, so we're going to go and get that same file. I'm going to click on Converter. Same process, we're just going to rush through that. I'm opening that and I'm going to crop that. You see the dialog looks a bit different here, but I'm going to go crop. Let's push them in. We can click save. Same thing applies here. Um, what you notice here, or what I've noticed, is there's no like eyedropper tool over here, which I would like them to have this in the pro version, but basically is where you click your mouse, the color will come. So I'll just take one of these colors away. You can't take all of the colors away here. Yeah? There at least has to be one to start off with. But I'm going to click here and you'll see the color pops in here at the bottom. I remove that dock. So this is the background color. Then I'm going to do the lettering, click all, click my way into each color. If I hover over the color and click it, you'll see it pops down at the bottom. Again, um, if you click the settings here, you will see there's a, those same settings we had earlier. But here's the AI button, um, and this is active here. So because you have the uh, full version. Okay, so we're going to go to say convert. And now it's doing the magic there. It takes slightly longer than the free version because it's busy doing, you know, AI tweaks and all that sort of stuff. But when it's done, this is where the big difference comes in with the free and the pro version. When you're working in the pro version, you have the ability to do editing before you move it out. So you might be able to get a excellent product without taking it into a vector program to kind of clean up. You, you could get an excellent uh, result at this point already. So we're just going to see the different features. And uh, yeah, there's, there's like a eraser tool where you could do erasing. There's a vacuum tool where it cleans up little elements. What is nice about the pro version is you select a particular color and it will show you only that color in the whole design. Because if there's bleeding of a color, you know, that's, you have, for example, green and there's green on other elements that is kind of interpreted as green and it bleeds, you can isolate the green and clean up the specific stuff and then move on from there. So, yes, it's, it's a matter of whether you find the editing tool of great value here. And in my case, I think it works brilliantly in that you do most of the cleanup here, take it to your vector editing program, and then refine it as you want to there. 
So if you look here now above the sea, you will see there's a little artifact, but that's a little, almost a line that needs to be cleaned up there. Okay, if you look at the, the N compared to the original or the B, it might not be as rounded as the original. So those are kind of things where you go to those nodes and smooth them off, etc. But generally you've got what you're looking for here. A, a brilliant vectorized setup. So now we're going to just go next and we're going into the editing space. So this now works. You've got all the layers now. If you go here at the bottom and I click orange, only the orange appears, which is really cool. The deep orange, the red, purple. I'm just looking there. We got a lot of bleed that comes here. So what happened is the edges of the wording was interpreted uh, to be not very dark. It was more closer to the purple color, and that's why it interpreted in that way. Um, so we need to clean that up. So that's just like part artifacts. So here we can use some of these tools. Um, we can use the vacuum tool, which will, if you run over it, you'll see that it will remove the entire object that you move over. Or you could go, if we go back here, we can go to the eraser tool and it will just erase and work better this way. Okay, so we've cleaned up that and then let's go back. Go to the blue, that looks clean enough, green, black, now that's kind of fine, and that's the background color, and now I'm going to go to all the layers right at the left, but before we do that, if we look here, you can see maybe if we go to, let's go to all the layers, oh wait, let's go to orange, I can go and go change the color of that orange to whatever other color, say that green, if I save that. And we go back. I've now changed that to that area. So you have the ability to do a couple of those stuff. Just want to get back into to the edit window. So if I come here, um, let me just go full cut. You can fiddle around with this. I'm not going to go through every specific thing here now. Let's try the copy. If I'm going to copy that, let's see what comes about with that. Well, there'll probably be a copy and a move, eh? Um, yeah, copy, order, etc. Okay, look, I'm I'm blowing into the wind now by trying to fiddle around with this. You you go fiddle around. I think the key element that I'm trying to show is we are able to get this into a vector. So we go to the top area here and ex export it. And here we have the option of exporting SVG, PNG, or share a link with somebody else. I'm going to go SVG, which is the vector format. And then we're going to take this file that we've exported now, uh, SVG Trace. We are going to open that, this one here. We're going to open this up inside our Affinity Designer, which is the vector editing program. Okay, and there it is. So if we go there, I'm clicking on this outside background. You press Delete because I don't need that. Um, interesting, that little artifact we saw on top, that was because of the bleeding that that purple picked up over there, and that's been cleaned up. So what I do is here, if I'll double click here, you'll see these areas are kind of needs to be a bit more rounded. You can go in and tweak those areas like you want to. Um, there's different tools in the different applications, but that's if you want to clean up here, for example, I would go and take these three nodes and I would align them. I'd use the align tool. If I go and align them, look what happens. They pull nice and straight. And in that case, um, I'll just make all of these nodes, straight nodes, align, etc., etc. I'm going a bit overboard now with explaining. But there you've cleaned it up nicely. You have a nice straight line. But that's your tools that you use. And again, yeah, you could come... I mean, I changed the color there for example purposes, but the, yeah, you could come and you could change colors or whatever you want to based on your program that you're using. But in essence, once you have the SVG, you could then decide to export it in whichever other format you want to. Um, you could choose to, yeah, you have SVG, EPS, you could put it in a PDF where the vector art is still incorporated. But now you have the total flexibility of working with vector art. Okay, vector art. You have all that flexibility.
Great. So hopefully this gives you another tool in the arsenal to help you do your conversions and start speeding up the the workflow that you need to have when you're designing elements, specifically logos and things like that. So have a fantastic day. Be blessed and shalom to everybody.